Hi, welcome to this week's video. My name is Paul. So this week, again, a loose, impressionistic watercolour landscape painting. This is the last painting I'll do of 2021. And it's also this video will be the first YouTube video of 2022. So maybe it's a good time for me to think about some goals for painting and what I want to do. This coming March, March 2022, it'll be exactly three years since I first started using watercolours. I've made a bit of progress during that time, I think, and I've learnt a few things. But I want to continue making progress. And one of the things, especially at the moment, is I feel that most of the paintings are very similar. Uh, they look quite similar. And that's mainly because it's the same theme, the same subject matter, and the same palette each time. So I want to add in a bit more variety into paintings, and maybe also a bit more complexity. So I have an idea for a painting that's going to include some animals. Um, now that puts up some challenges for me. First of all, I don't have much experience in drawing or sketching animals, so I'm going to have to do a bit of that. The other thing as well, you notice with all of my paintings, I don't do any pencil sketches on the watercolour paper itself. I just apply the paint directly because I feel that that gives much more. It ends up with a looser uh, painting, a more impressionistic painting. I think as soon as you put down pencil lines and you start putting the paint inside those pencil lines, you're becoming careful and everything just sort of tightens up very quickly. When I first started with watercolour, that's kind of how I did it, and I was never happy with the end results. But if I'm going to include animals, I think I'm going to have to do a bit of pencil sketching. So I'm going to have to figure out how to do that, but still end up with the result that I like. So that's going to be a challenge. Probably what I'm going to do is, first of all, try to do some charcoal sketching. Um, like I say, I need to practice drawing animals for a start. So I'll try doing some charcoal sketches. And if I can get that working, then I'll move on to using watercolour. Other things I want to do. So the palette that I use, the colours I use, are good for sort of spring and summer scenes. Um, but not for the rest of the year. So I want to introduce another sort of palette. I'm still using the idea of a limited palette and limiting the number of colours, but I want to have, if you like, a second sort of colour palette that I can use for other seasons. So I need to figure out what colours to include and things like that. Again, it's all just to add in a bit more variety uh, into the painting. If I can get these things working, um, and even if I can't get them working, I'll probably try and create some YouTube videos um, of either my successes or failures. Um, in terms of YouTube in 2022, it may not sound very ambitious, but my main goal is just to keep things, just to keep going with YouTube. I say it may not sound that ambitious, but actually just keeping going with YouTube, it feels like sometimes pushing an elephant up a, a hill sometimes. It can wear you down. You can get burnt out with it. And certainly if you look at lots of YouTube channels, smaller channels, a lot of them are inactive, they sort of died. I don't want that to happen to this channel. I want to keep going. So it is just each week working on one video, uploading it, what I might do is, I used to do also sort of midweek videos. They never got as many views and things, so it was just as much work, but that's kind of why I stopped doing it. But I may start doing a few, not every week, but once or twice a month, upload a video on a Wednesday, say. And that, if I do that, the videos will be, again, a bit more variety. So they're going to cover topics beyond just watercolour and charcoal and maybe some other things that interest me in art. 
one other thing. It's kind of linked to YouTube. An idea that's been rolling around in my head for a while is to start Patreon. And if you've watched much YouTube, you'll I'm sure you'll come across this Patreon thing. There's an awful lot of YouTubers do Patreon. Patreon has actually nothing to do with YouTube. They're two completely separate companies. But what it is, is people can upload content, videos, or blog articles, uh, pictures, <clears throat> lots of different things, which are, unlike YouTube, these things are hidden behind a paywall. To see them, you have to pay some money. Um, it's usually not very much, you know, maybe a couple of dollars a month or something, or a couple of pounds or, or whatever. But anyway, like I say, it's an idea that I have of maybe generating a little bit of money to help with the YouTube channel as well. So that I would like to have some lights, for example, to it would maybe help a better camera or a better microphone, those sort of things. I haven't made up my mind whether or not to do it, but it's certainly an idea of, like I say, been rolling around in my head for a few weeks now. This is um, this week's final painting. Like I say, the final painting of 2021. I was happy with this one. Again, it, I like the detail in the foreground. There's a bit of a feeling of depth in there and it is quite loose and things. So I was happy enough with this painting. If you made it this far in the video, uh, thank you for watching. Um, and thank you for continuing to watch videos during the year and supporting this channel and hopefully see you in the next video in the new year.